Oh yes, I think we should talk about tall foreheads. How do I turn that rear wiper off? I don't want that going on in this video. As you know, I'm gonna have this van for the next couple of days because of my blog, Family Finley Daddy blog. So, okay, I'm feeling pretty good about myself, about my hairs, how as far as how it looks, because I feel like it's kind of an awkward uh, in-between to make it look this good. I think we'd agree it looks looks pretty good, like it's styled and like it is and like it's cut. It's just, it, it does take some work to get it this, with this presentation, but at the same time, basically the key is just be messy and it just kind of falls into this place. And of course I made another video earlier today where I was running. I mean, this is since then. And I mean, I, you know, so this is actually working out pretty, pretty good. Right. Um, but I do want to talk about, uh, tall foreheads for a moment. It's funny because as you know, that I recently did my DNA test and that was saying that I came out about a third German, about a third Spanish, uh, and about a quarter Central American. And then the rest was Eastern European. But in that, there's a girl that I work with and she didn't hear the results yet. And so I said, well, you, sh you should guess what you think I am, uh, what how you think it turned out. And she accurately guessed that I was part German, uh, which was interesting. She And I said, well, how, how do you know, how do you know what a German looks like? Uh, and she said, well, one of the features is just having a tall forehead. Like, oh, okay. I never thought of myself really having a tall forehead versus a regular forehead. Um, but it is interesting because I have heard the theory and I, I feel like I've seen enough evidence, especially in other people, that if you have a taller forehead, you're more likely to lose your hair sooner compared to a guy who, who has a smaller forehead. Typically those guys don't seem to lose their hair. They just have the neuroid one and that's it. Um, so it is interesting because if nothing else, maybe the rest of the world right now sees me as a guy with a tall forehead <laughs> when really you and I know the truth that I'm actually a Norwood three and I'm just doing this messy nest hairstyle right now in between as I'm growing it longer uh, to, you know, make it look, make it look nice and uh, pull off still having hair while I still have it. So, and obviously you like my little angle thing I've been doing <laughs> just because I think if it's a video about my hair and I can do that. Because I'm used to walking, right? But it's been a rainy day, so I've done the best with what I could. I shot in Whole Foods, I shot in the mall, and now in the van that I'll be having for the next couple of days because of my blog, Family Friendly Daddy blog, because they know of how many followers I have on YouTube, and they know of uh, of my blog. So uh, I think that's just the key. I need to keep my hair messy, and it it looks pretty pretty good. But ultimately tall foreheads is just, I need to think about, do I have a tall forehead? Forget about the receding hairline. Do I have a tall forehead? Is that how people actually see me if they don't know about my whole hair loss channel? Tall foreheads, question mark? 